Hey guys, good morning and welcome to Vlogmas. So it is a rainy Saturday here in Alabama. You can see it's just like kind of misting outside. It's cooled off a little bit, but I still haven't gotten my colder weather, but I'm holding out for that. Maybe sometime later in December, we'll have a little bit colder weather. But I was just out here taking a couple of fun pictures that I can share on Instagram with some of my favorite dresses that I've been wearing this holiday season. I shared some of them in the lookbook here on YouTube, um, but if you guys have any questions about those, let me know. But I am also gonna be filming a quick Amazon gift guide that I'll share later on in Vlogmas and things like that as well. So those will be coming up. Sure. Shortly, but today we're gonna do a regular vlog. I also got these awesome, let me see if I can even pick this up because it's so huge. This is the first time I've ordered wood flower arrangements from Southern Blooms. And I ordered these, this is the one that caught my eye. It's like the candy cane one. So I was out here taking pictures with my red dress and the candy cane um, floral from Southern Blooms. But you guys have to see these, these are really fun. I ordered a couple of them. So there's already some out around the house and I will take you around and show those. And I just think that they are a really cool way to add the decor and it's something that I can use year after year, which I love that. So this candy canes one was in the holiday section. I think it's out of stock now, but they have a ton of like regular decor. And actually I love these so much when I got them here. I think I'm gonna order some regular ones for after the holiday season as well. But it's just such great detail. There's like little baby's breath in there. All of these are wood flowers that they hand dye. And so they're all a little bit unique, but I love like the different sizes and everything all throughout. And I love like these wood tone flowers. If you guys watched Vlogmas last year, remember that I started adding in more wood tone ornaments. So I just absolutely love this. And then I have another one on the inside as well. This is just the larger one and the one that's using kind of the red that I have. So I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put this in the house, but I absolutely love this. And um, I think this will be kind of just a really fun, update to some of the decor that I already have. Over here at this table, I have this smaller one. This one is Joy to the World, and it has some different cream color flowers and the wood color flowers. I love that this one is a little bit smaller one, and it is round, so it goes well here in the center of the table. So I'm gonna try this right here for now, and then it may kind of move around the room as I do a little bit more decorating, because the big thing that I have to do today is deal with decorating this tree. Uh, so I have all the trees up and literally none of them are decorated yet. So at least it started, but this is my big goal for today is to get this decorated. And I also have this flock tree over here in the dining room. And then I have one in my office, but that's honestly the last priority. These two that are out in the main areas are my first two priorities to get decorated. So before I do the trees, we are going to take this guy for a walk and then we're going to give him a B-A-T-H afterwards. <laughs> That's how we get him all excited and then he just trots right in there. So we're going to do that real quick and then afterwards I am going to work on getting some ornaments on this tree and also getting that tree done too. Uh, so we are giving Penguin a bath, which he's generally pretty good with. We started giving it in the shower so we could use this handheld kind of little faucet here. But then we got this bathtub off of Amazon because it easily collapses down and then it's easy to kind of collect the water. So. It seems to be working out. It worked a little bit better than just having him being right in the shower. So he just kind of sits still while I do it. So we're gonna get him rinsed and he should feel a lot better and smell a lot better after his bath. And then after his bath, we call it the after bath crazies. He usually runs around like a maniac. Come on, buddy. This is what he does for like a good 10 minutes after bath time. So I finally got everything out to decorate the tree. I brought the bins inside and I'm gonna start getting all the ornaments and little filler pieces in. And I've got this organization bin from Zober. It's got all of the different compartments to put the ornaments in and it is time to replace these flimsy kind of plastic things that they came in and we've moved a bunch of times and uh, we've used these for a number of years. So these are literally falling apart. 
So I'm going to transfer all of the remaining ones that I don't use into here um, while I'm doing this today. So that will be good. And then those will all be stored in this one bin. And then I have all of my extra ornaments down in here. Tree skirt, which I'm not using this year because I have a tree collar and kind of extra bits and bobs. So I'm going to go through here and see what is going on which tree this year and then kind of go from there. These wood ornaments, I love these. These are for the flocked tree. So I'll go start putting those over by the flock tree. And then this tree, I'll do more with like red and gingerbread. I do more of a traditional theme in here. So here's some of the traditional red items and I got those little sprigs to put in last year. So I'm gonna do a little bit more of that this year. And then I also got a number of new ornaments. I got these Merry and Bright ornaments actually on our Walmart grocery order pickup. So I got a number of those. And then when we were visiting my mom, we went to a kind of craft Christmas store that's around her house. And they had these really cute tag ornaments. So I got a number of these uh, when we were there. So I'm gonna see how this all comes together. But typically I just do kind of a traditional red, gingerbread, so here's some of the cookie ornaments I've gotten in past years. Type of fun theme here in our main great room. Next, I'm going to put on some of the ornaments that I got this year to start filling in the spaces. This is the merry and bright little wreath. And I'm going to find places for the holiday tags. So this is something new I started doing last year. I just kind of pushed these little berry stems in it. I like to try to find some cooler ones, but for now I just put the few that I have from last year kind of in different spots and it just kind of adds a little bit of a pop of color um, down inside the greenery. So I'm just going to transfer all of these over into this. I'm going to put the dividers in after I have a full layer. I'm gonna put the next row in and put the champagne ornaments here in this next row. Natalie and I are gonna go run errands and go to Target and go to Hobby Lobby and we're gonna go find some things. She's gonna be my errand buddy today. And then we'll come back here and figure out what's gonna be for dinner. We're gonna try to find a Christmas movie to watch tonight. And hopefully I'll find some more wood ornaments for this little tree in here. I'm gonna hopefully look for some filler for the bigger tree and we'll just see what we come up with. It is crazy busy, but we found a fun sign and a couple more ornaments and a bell, apparently. <laughs> I like this joy, too. This is pretty. I love all the sparkly stuff. Oh, here's more bows, Natalie. A couple more, anyways. We're trying to find some bows to fill the tree up or something. I like that rug. <laughs> For after Christmas. Oh, look at the dog stuff, Natalie. Yeah. Uh -oh. They have like little dog bones. We could get him a red sparkly one. Oh, they have a red and green one. This one's <laughs> Naughty or nice meter. We need that for our house. The naughtier nice meter Where? up here looks up here to the right. Do you see it up here? Oh, can I draw? I saw a little sleigh like this when I was at 
home goods the other day too and it was just so cute. I like that too. I don't think I have a spot for it is the thing. We got two of these meal kits. The sesame teriyaki chicken stir fry and chicken fajita tacos. We like these bags that everything comes in. We need to go get this stuff now. All right, Emily's got the lifts. Do you have coffee? Uh, I need to check and get some more coffee, yes. And creamer, coffee creamer. And we've been liking, they have spicy versions of the Progresso soups. We've been liking, they have a chicken tortilla soup. It's actually kind of hard to find. It's really, really good, but they have a spicy version of it too. It's really awesome. But they also have a spicy chicken noodle, spicy jambalaya, spicy Italian wedding soup. Uh, chicken tortilla. This one is my favorite one. So good. And there's a spicy version of that, but they still have it here. We're picking out what we want at Starbucks. They're always out of cake pops. <laughs> She wants a reindeer cake box, but they're always out. This is the drink that we got a ton when we were in Chicago. It's the ice sugar cookie almond milk uh, latte. It's so, so good. Okay, so we are back home, and we are going to make dinner. I got these couple of ready-to-cook meals, chicken fajitas and sesame chicken stir-fry to try out. So... We probably will make one of those for dinner tonight. And I'll show you real quick what we got at Target. So at Hobby Lobby, we got some more of these wood ornaments that I have on the flock tree and some pretty straws to put in a mug as just like a decorative thing. And then Natalie got a little dog ornament, which I have to unwrap. And then we went to Marshall's. We didn't get a whole lot there, but she picked out these two little dog gift bags. I'm going to use that for her and her sister. I don't think there's any gift stuff down in here, but we got these little gnome cards. I thought those were cute. Some sour straws that are cotton candy flavored, so they're kind of unique to Marshall's Home Goods stores. And these Merry Christmas gnome napkins. I thought it would be cute to use. Then at Target, I got some of my chicken tortilla soup. I love chicken tortilla soup. I like the kind that doesn't have like a cheese already mixed in though. Um, this is like my favorite kind of chicken tortilla soup. I also got cinnamon sugar cookie coffee. I've never tried it before, it just looked good. Some toilet scrubbers, some Q-tips, aluminum foil, gallon freezer bags. The girls have been liking the Simply Lemonade um, raspberry lemonade. The creamer that I've been liking lately, it's a non-dairy kind, almond milk and oat milk. This is the Car caramel macchiato. Um, and I just like this. It's just kind of set better with me, and I also like the flavor. This is the shampoo I've been using lately. It's the Love, Beauty, and Planet. Um, coconut water and mimosa flower. I just like the scent of it. So I started out using the body wash of this stuff, and then I liked it actually so much I tried the shampoo and conditioner. And then over here we have a number of gift stuff and donation stuff. So there's a couple gifts in here. And then we're donating some things to a local uh, nursing home. Some socks and little things like that. Um, and then there's a gift exchange at school. So there's a, like one of those little surprise things for that. And then a whole bunch of gift bags. I really liked this one with the snowman and the snow. I got this because it said Joy. This one has the stockings on there. These are all Wonder Shop too, by the way. And I love all the pink stuff. They have a really great range of pink Christmas stuff. And then a number of cute little bags for smaller gifts. So that is pretty much the extent. Oh, and I got a couple gift cards, but I think those ended up in my purse. That is pretty much the extent of what we got at Target. So I'm going to get all this stuff put away and start making dinner here. So this is all of the items that came in the chicken fajita tacos. It comes with the cheese, the tortillas. It comes with the meat, and this is actually kind of can just get microwaved sometimes. Well, I think all the time actually in these bags, they're always um, things that, you know, can get popped in the microwave like meat-wise. So this can just go in the microwave and it'll take a couple minutes. And then we've never had this, so this will be the first time that we've tried this. But it has a Mexican street corn salad 
with jalapenos, feta cheese, and lime in a sour cream dressing. This sounds really, really good for me, but I don't know if it's gonna be too spicy for the kids. Um, but we do have like tomatoes and some other things that we can just kind of make a unspicy version if we need to. So I'm gonna pop these in the microwave and get these started, and we will see what we think of these because this is the first time that we've had this. We've had the burrito bowl, which we really like. This is the first time trying the fajita seasoned chicken. So I just tested this and I really like it. I don't think it's too spicy for the kids. I love spicy stuff. I don't think, you know, it's got just a hint of the jalapeno. It's not like an overwhelming flavor. And it's really mixed down with sour cream in there uh, and some feta cheese. So I feel like that really balances out. Honestly, what you can taste the most other than the sour cream is the lime. And the corn has a little bit of, you know, kind of that burnt flavoring to it. So you can really taste that and the lime more than like a jalapeno. So I would rate this more on the mild side than like a really spicy side. But I love spicy stuff, so I may not be the best judge. So we will feed this to everyone and see what they have to say. I do have this guacamole that we get at Costco, um, and everyone really likes that. So I've got those, and I'll cut up some tomatoes to have with this as well. So we are going to find a Christmas movie to watch on TV tonight, and we changed the LED tree to multicolor. It's really neat that you can kind of change it back and forth. It's fun. So I got it decorated a bit, and I got a few more ornaments for the flock tree uh, for the wood snowflake ornaments at Hobby Lobby. So they are on their way, at least now. <laughs> this is Penguin Spot in the middle of the evening. So we just got the kids caught up on Hawkeye and watched both of those episodes. My husband and I had already pre-screened them, um, but we watched them again so the kids could watch them. So that is about it for our evening. Hopefully you guys are having a great December. Merry Vlogmas to you. And I will be back with some more vlogs coming up this next week. Thanks for watching and have a great day.